Let me go and get this package. That way I'm able to enter Minister Clark's office. I'm just so glad that they didn't shoot me on sight or anything or got any more suspicious of the fact that I came here on an empty... I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Bro, I didn't ask. Damn. Okay, so this is a nice place to pick up packages. Wow. Um... So, do I just go in? Okay. I'm going in. Deft hands, Captain. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Nice. All right, so let's be on our way then. Okay, so once I get inside, what what would I do afterwards? I mean, Let me just get the package to him just so he thinks I'm not a threat, and then let's see what happens afterwards. She's still complaining, bro. I don't even know what she's talking about, but she's still complaining. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Delivery for the minister? Yeah. Let's see it. I've got this parcel right here. Looks like your papers are in order. All right. Go on through. Thanks for your time, asshole. Anyways. Wow, this is a big, big place. Is this his house or an office? So many stairs, too. God forbid you end up tripping and then you fall continuously. Wait a minute, hold on. Let me put my weapon away. Because if I'm, if I'm delivering a package with my gun in my hand, it How doesn't make any it? sense. What you mean? I'm delivering a package. You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! If this is about another Aetherwave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off as the wow. violence goes. I'm not doing any more. Cut the crap, I'm here for a dimethyl sulfide. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all, then? I don't know who you're yelling at, but you better cut your shit. Okay. Let me step back for a bit. <clears throat> I have records proving you've been hoarding the methyl sulfide. Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You mean Chairman Rockwell's locked you up here? You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would, would you like me to make you tea? Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Why would he go through all this trouble? How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out, and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. 
A reckoning is most certainly due. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. We're set on fixing Halcyon. That's as good a place as any to start. Exactly. And fix it we must. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. You seem a little too excited by all this. We're discussing industrial espionage, legal redress, the possible salvation of Halcyon. Is this not exhilarating? Also, this is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. Okay, well, let's focus. How do I get to the HHC headquarters? Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons? They're rather dirty. There are also rumors of sprat infestations, faulty hmm. auto mechanicals, and hmm. other unsavory hazards. If that sort of thing bothers you. It doesn't. Okay, so once I get into the Atropolis District, what then? When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. What used to be your office? Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. How did you manage to hang on to your access card? The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. Anyway, I should get going. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What's on the carriage? What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more. All exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. How long would that take? Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Wow. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Uh... Well, it's something. And now, I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District. Right. Great. So not only was he unaware that drugs were, were being made under his name, I gotta find out who this guy really is. Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of her? Excuse me? For the last time, access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav key. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be somewhere else. Stay Yo, close. that corporate trooper is just had it up to here. And bitch, who the fuck are you talking to like that? Oh, splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning, I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. What a coincidence. Just now I thought, I really like to sock this lady in the face. Ugh, how utterly expected. You must be one of those violent vagrants I've heard tell of, wandering the system in search of brutality. 
Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness. If the board isn't supposed to let people into the city, how would you get here? I earned my place here, just like everyone else. My grandfather was the CIO at Tile, you see. Wait, but what did you do to earn your place here? I just told you. My grandfather made millions of bits as CIO, and I earned them from him. Inheriting bits isn't the same as earning them. Of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you, it's earned. My grandfather taught me that. If you have wealth, you're successful. And if you're successful, you must have earned it. Honestly, it's a simple concept. I see, thanks. You're welcome. Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? What's wrong with more people coming to Byzantium? What's wrong? It erodes the very pillars of our society. Merit, decorum, personal hygiene. Really? This city is meant for us, the system's finest. We earned its luxuries. But now we are overrun with the unworthy and the ungrateful. And this early retirement nonsense is making it even worse. What's early retirement? The worst thing to happen to Halcyon. A contest that gives even the lowliest and most inefficient workers a chance to live in Byzantium. By simply winning a lottery, those early retirees get an exclusive district of Byzantium to themselves. No one else is even allowed to go there. Tell me. How is that fair? Well, most contests have some inherent biases, so technically... Oh, by the law. I mean the principle of it, not the mechanics. It's not right. I deserve to see any district I please. Why, if it weren't guarded, I'd... Hmm. You know, you look like you've been shot at before. Excuse Let's me? Let's say I hire you to investigate this travesty, and you get paid to do so. Beat standing around and talking to aristocrats anyway. True. Yes. Listen to your... Your... What is that person's job exactly? Are they your secretary? Personal masseuse? Or do you just keep them around as a mobile armrest? Well, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you think this is a fabulous arrangement, and you'd be thrilled to lend me your services. Aren't you? First of all, she's my equal. She's my teammate. And number two, why would I ever help you with something so selfish? Did you miss the part where I said I'd pay you? That's all the reason someone like you should require. Huh. Well, it's not. Give me something better. Better than money? Mm-hmm. Let's see. There's... Yeah, you're, you're thrown no. off. I can tell. The thrill of discovery. Like in an Aetherwave adventure. People love those, right? Don't you want to see what the retirement district is like? I do like money. Fantastic. Consider yourself employed, Vagrant. I hear the chosen retirees all enter the retirement district via the port landing pad, but it's completely locked down. You'd never get in that way. Unless, of course, you had a wealthy, beautiful benefactor of impeccable social pedigree, which you do. How fortunate for you. I do. These codes will get you past the lockdown. You'll encounter security afterward, but surely you'll handle it. You are the violent sort of Vagrant, after all. How did you get these access codes? The same way anyone gets anything here, of course. I made friends with the right people. Bits might earn you a place in Byzantium, but that means everyone here has little need for more of them. For favors like this, you need to spend... Let's call it social capital. I should go. Hmm. Well, first off, I'm actually pretty curious to see how this quest goes. Let me just switch it quickly. Okay, so the terminal is right down there. God, that lady was so fucking rude. Just because you have money and power doesn't mean you gotta treat people of quote unquote lesser status like a piece of shit, but whatever. Okay, let me see. Where is this place exactly?
I think I have to go all the way down there. Right? Yep. I guess I'll go down the elevator. Early retirement? So basically, the lucky person gets to retire with what? More health? Better life? That way they won't have to work for the rest of their remaining life? There has to be some weird catch to this early retirement though. It just can't be simply a one done type of deal. I really doubt that. Retirees. That's the last of them. Finally. Is it just me or are we getting more and more retirees lately? Not just you. Felt like a damn factory worker these last few months. Oh well. Nothing a few drinks won't cure. Come on, let's go hit up Bijou's. Man, they're closed. Someone saw us fracking there. Bijou's too? Damn. What's this city coming to? Don't mind me, I'm just chilling here in the corner. They did ass walk by me. Okay. And they got so much retirees. Huh. Is there anything I can take here? Do I really want to steal? Yeah, because no one's watching me, so... Is that? I'll take that. Ooh, it's a good thing they didn't see me. Alright, let's head on into this welcome center. Welcome to the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center. You, the lucky few, have been selected to spend the rest of your days living the high life in your own private district in Byzantium. When you arrive, you'll be whisked away to your very own luxury penthouse, furnished exclusively by 24-7 Furniture's Deluxe Falskowood Collection. Some assembly required, 24-7 Furniture is not responsible for any injury, psychological damage, or divorce litigations that occur during the assembly process. What the hell kind of After warning you is that? In, you'll have the chance to explore your new home. Why not go for a bite at one of our many restaurants, like CNP's Blazing Borst Barbecue or Rizzo's All You Can Crunch Cereal Buffet? Or maybe you'd like to head to the bar and enjoy an ice cold Zero G Brew by Spacer's Choice. Zero G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you, although in the early retirement district, nothing will. All this and more will be complimentary for the entirety of your stay. Courtesy of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, you won't have to spend a bit. So relax, grab a refreshment from one of our vending machines, and enjoy our specially constructed welcome center. While you're here, be sure to check out the displays for some fun facts about the early retirement program and selection process. Then, once you're ready, enter the elevator at the end of the hall and leave your troubles behind. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Today is the first day of your early retirement. Congratulations. Welcome to the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement. You're special. Each month, hundreds of thousands of workers apply to the early retirement program from across the Halcyon system. That doesn't just include workers on Terra 2, but those who live on the Groundbreaker or Hepatitis as well. Even after weeding out undesirable or unqualified con candidates, only 2.3% of these entrants are selected for early retirement. I sure hope you brag to your neighbors before you left. Way to overcome the odds, champ. You, the lucky few. We're sure that all of you had a wonderful time completing your early retirement application forms. But we know that even something like paperwork can get a little old after 87 pages. What the hell? I would never even do the whole early retirement process if it's like 87 pages of documents I need to go through. Fortunately, we pleased to inform you that your hard work was all worth it. By knowing details like your shoe size, blood type, and dental history, we can properly customize your early retirement just for you. 
Every detail will be tweaked and adjusted to fit your unique needs, just like how Hammersmith weapons are built to fit each customer's personal style of combat. What you want, Hammersmith. Have been selected to spend the rest of your... Here in Byzantium, auto mechanicals will make your life e e cleaner, easier, and more efficient, just as they do in the rest of the city. Teams with auto mechanicals regularly sweep through the streets of the early retirement district to give it that classic Byzantium sheen. But that's not all. They attend to your personal needs as well. Hmm. Want to order a drink? They'll bring one right to your table. Make a mess? In your new penthouse, they'll clean it up for you. Why, they'll even carry your luggage. Once it has been cleared by security and released from our customs warehouse, of course. So if you see 700 pounds of steel lumbering towards you, don't panic. You probably just drop one of your Happy Dale Farms woolly curds. Whoops, don't worry, I'm sure it's still good. Your days, living the high life in your own private district in... You know what? Byzantium. It's pretty weird you arrive, that they were asking the for shoe You're size, dental history, all that stuff. I need to get through this. Like, wait, what's this? Before beginning your new life in Byzantium, our safety regulations require you to consent to the following. You here and after refer to as the employee consent to the rules and regulations of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center. Here and after refer to as the center. The employee confirms that they have read and understand the rules of the center as written in Article 3, Section 5, Clause 27 of the Early Retirement Welcome Packet. The employee also confirms that they received this packet en route to the center. In the unlikely event of injury, death, or the loss of personal items, the employee assumes all liability for the incident. The Halcyon Holdings Corporation and its subsidiaries bear no responsibility for the incident and offer no compensation. Should the center recover any loss or stolen goods, the employee must retrieve them within 48 hours or their goods would be forfeit. If the employee is having second thoughts about living out the rest of their lives in unparalleled luxury, then they may exit this terminal and return to the center's landing bay. There, the employee may turn in their winning early retirement ticket and await the next outbound transport. Don't worry, that ticket won't go to waste. It will be given to another deserving worker to keep the center's inbound population at ideal levels. Otherwise, if the employee is ready to begin the final leg of their early retirement journey and enjoy all the center has to offer, please select I consent. Congratulations, you just made the first step on the greatest journey of your life. Now please proceed to the elevator, your early retirement awaits. Oh, Some assembly required. 24-7 furniture is not responsible for any injury, psychological damage, or divorce litigations that occur during the assembly process. This may be a really good place to be in because... I'm expecting to be serviced hand and foot here. I'm serious. No need to buy anything. Mechanicals at your service. Like, this is gonna be good. I still have a weird feeling that it's gonna be... I like how the music just stops too. What the f Fuck? Yo, what is this? Oh! <gasps> nope, nope, not having this. I've lived through too many marauder ambushes in my life to die by a trap built by corporate pencil pushers. Yo! Bro! So, early retirement is AKA death. What the fuck? Um, shit. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to fight all of them. Hold on. All right, got one. Got two. Oh, I need a new weapon. 
come on. Oh, okay. Oh no, someone's shooting me. Surprise, surprise. This is so disgusting. They gas up all of the good features when all reality they're sending people to, to their death, right? That's insane. That is so insane to me. What the hell? Oh, I ran out of bullets again. Hold on. This is disgusting. Sad. And disgusting. Alright, let's go. This is... This is not what I want. Early retirement is death. My goodness. Alright, uh, can we leave? I'm gonna... Yep, on seal the hatch here. Uh, um, no. Okay, so I disabled the auto mechanics. Maintenance exits, uh, is open, I guess. Oh, this is it. All right, let's go. Wait until I tell this chick what the early retirement process really is, because this is just... Oh, fuck. Can I not go in here? Can I leave? Like... Hold on, let me see something. Ah! Perfect. Come on, thank you. Ew. This is really fucked up. It's not even any type of... district at all. It's a death trap. Alright, let's get out of here. This is depressing. This town is so messed up. The audacity to trick these poor individuals into thinking that they're getting a better life when they are leading them to their deaths. Let's see what this, uh... Rich person thing. Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of her? Yo, shut the I hell up, bro. I'm getting a certain thrill out of our little arrangement. If this goes well, perhaps I'll start hiring wandering delinquents to handle all of my affairs. I'm glad it that is going you. Well, I hope. I'm glad that you're getting hella excited. So, um. You know what? So it turns out early retirement isn't so much a life of luxury as it is a brutal execution. What? You mean it's just a sham they perpetuate so they can dispose of the rabble? That's... that's... brilliant. Wow. To take the most burdensome members of our society and simply remove them. Oh, I'll never doubt the wisdom of the board again. Why, I had no reason to be envious at all. What a relief. I really should have expected this reaction. And how else would I react? A vagrant such as yourself couldn't possibly appreciate the emotional burden this news has lifted from my shoulders. But regardless of your ignorance, I promised you a fee for your services. So a fee you shall have. My sizable fee, you mean, unless you want to see what early retirement is like after all. No, no, that's all right. Sizable fee it is. My, you're really quite primal, aren't you? Fascinating. In any event, while I'm deeply grateful for the peace of mind you've brought me, I will need some solitude to fully bask in it. So if there's nothing further... I should go. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.